What is up fellow earthlings? Welcome back to my channel, Let It Go Junk Removal. My name is Austin Lee Hires. Thank you, thank you very much for joining in. Hit that like button right off the bat guys because it's going to be a great video. Today, me and Richard here are headed out to do a house clean out or finish out a house clean out that we've been working on for how long now? We've been there twice already? Twice already. We've been there twice, so this is the third time to finish this house clean out. And uh, yeah, the Freightliner's up and running, oh. as you guys can see. Did you grab the charger? Yes! Did I grab the charger? No, I did not. Alright guys, anywho, we'll see you soon. Follow along today, I'll probably give you a couple of tips on uh, some things that we've been figuring out lately, and also, I just invented something. What do you guys think about a foldable wheelbarrow? Would you, would you use a foldable wheelbarrow? And if, if it had enough strength to hold and do everything that you do in junk removal, so you could just kind of tuck it away. I don't know. I I've, I thought about it because we have no space on this truck. <laughs> this is what we have to do, guys, because our custom-made truck came with a tarp that was too tall. We had to put a big ass rope over the front side of it so it doesn't parachute on us and all the trash doesn't fly out. We forgot to do it before we left this morning. So yeah. First tip of the day, if you have a parachuting tarp, just tie it down like that. Um, our mechanic <laughs> is gonna fix it. I'm gonna drop it off on the 24th on Christmas Eve, and he doesn't celebrate Christmas, so he's gonna go ahead and fix it over the Christmas break. We'll have it uh, nice and lowered, and I'll show you the updated version of it in one of the next videos after, uh, after the work's been done. Stay tuned. What do they gotta do? Like and subscribe like and subscribe so we're cleaning out a house and there's a few things you guys can look out for if you're just starting out and you're trying to make a little bit of cash and this says lane lane furniture and lane furniture can be very expensive uh, if you sell it to the right person We've got to clean out this closet, dresser, 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 mirror. We've got this little guy here, two chairs, fake fireplace, a picture on the wall, this couch set, that couch, the um, bookshelf unit. We're not taking the table, taking this guy here, uh, taking this guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy. We're also taking this guy, that guy, and that guy. Yeah, we'll see uh, what this amounts to. Like and subscribe. <sighs> mattress pass. Go, go, go! Pass the mattress to the next man! There is no other man! <laughs> okay, so we're getting these mattresses out of here. Um, we've got all the dressers out and we're really just playing some Tetris in the truck right now and uh, just so we can get it all in one load but we charged them what did we charge them it was just like just over 800 bucks for getting rid of the stuff that I showed you earlier and uh, we're gonna get it all in one load we're standing it up we're going over the walls with it but we're doing it safely we'll be able to tarp it down and uh, not lose anything out of the uh, out of the trash can, right? Out of the dumpster. So, stay tuned, guys. To see this place nice and cleaned out. We've only been here what 30 minutes. Boom, got the couch done and all that stuff that was over there. We have to get this entertainment uh, center. Basically, we're gonna take this and break it down flat. Uh, that way, it fits in the container. All right, guys. So, me and Richard packing this thing up like Tetris. We've literally got a repent couch, one dresser, two dresser, three dresser. We've got a three piece sofa in here. We've got one end tables, two end tables, one mirror, a mattress. Um, and actually, over here, we've put another mirror, a bed frame. We're about to put the uh, piece of lane furniture we found right here in this corner slot because our, our container is not square. We have the space on the side we can utilize. And we have to fit these two mattresses in there. We're going to break this piece down, that piece down, throw that flat piece on the sides. Probably break the chairs down. He said he wants to keep those, so we're not taking those. And that empty spot that you guys saw me walking around in the dumpster, we're going to break this down and lay it flat in there. That's our next move. So, let's go ahead and take <laughs> There we go. Can you guys see me? All right, cool. 
So yeah, this is the uh, path we have to take out to the dumpster, load everything up. And uh, I'm about to just drop this mirror on the side, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> And that's how you do it. Uh, I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> Alright. Let's get this entertainment center out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you alright bro? The thing was supposed to break. That didn't work. <laughs> oh you ripped your ass guys. He's got a rip in his ass. Let's, let's make it talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We got her all smashed down, and now we just gotta take her out and put her in place, and then we're, we're almost done, guys. Look at this little baby doll this guy found right here. Mm, yeah. Oh, it's got a McDonald's toy. The doll has got a doll. Money. All right, guys. So, our technique is working. Breaking stuff up, like so. And I get in there nice and flat. So we've literally got way more than we can usually fit in a dumpster for a full load by breaking shit down. Like, I mean, we're going uh, out of our way to break shit that usually doesn't break down. As you can see, everything's cleared out. This is literally the last piece of the puzzle there. Uh, we're gonna fill the dumpster with that and everything in here is gone. Bada bing, bada boom, guys. Let me get the wheelbarrow and load these clothes up. Some of you may know I like using garbage bags on really big jobs, uh, but this job had a lot of large items and this is about what you get for the small items. So we're gonna fill a trash can with it and dump it a couple of times and we'll be done. Skeeter, Skeeter going here. Ooh. Excuse me guys, this place is giving me allergies. But, I finished this closet up. So here it is. Boom. Hope you enjoyed that hyperlapse. I'm gonna hurry up and get out of here because I'm having a really allergic reaction to the place. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the house is finished and I'm uh, taking pictures and uploading them to Workies. As you can see, um, these are all the pictures of when all the stuff was in there. It's all cool. And so the, the customer will have record of all the stuff that was in the house. And then right now what I'm doing is starting to take the empty pictures. So yeah, it's a great way to keep your customers informed and uh, have that trust factor with them. Get Workies, guys. I'll leave a link down below and uh, you can have this system as well.
All right, guys, let's see how quick we can get the rope over the tarp and get out of here. We place it through the hole, pull it all the way through, toss it over to the other side. There it is. Let's get it over here. Right there. And we gotta put it through here. Put it through here. Put it through here. Hold on. It's stuck. Do you want one of these? One more. Harder. Give us some slack. Give us some slack. There you go. Yeah. Headed back to the house. We got some goodies to uh, go through at the office and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video of us kind of doing it. Oh, excuse me. Us doing a day in the life of us. Let It Go Junk Removal. Yeah, us. Hi. You ass. Sure. Oh Speaking of us, can you give us a oh thumbs gosh. up, please? Down below, guys, you'll find a thumbs up button and it looks like this. You can click it with your mouse or your finger depending on what kind of device you're on. We'll check you later. Thanks for tuning in.